Hello, it's very windy, very cold, but welcome back to Blue Fix. Got a few vans around. I noticed somebody commented on my last video saying, keep the camera still. That's for you, that is. Right, I'm gonna show you an install we've just done in this very cute motorhome. Very nice little motorhome. 305 watt panel, solar panel on the roof. 305, wasn't it, Matt? 305, that yeah, panel? 305, yeah. yeah. And we had this whole garage space at the back. Can we come over here? The whole garage space at the back to fit our electrical system. So let's show you what we've done. <laughs> Very impressed with what we've done. Just went and got some lights so I can light it up a bit better so you can see it a bit better. But here is the space that we used, this whole back wall. We've got two Ecotree 230 amp hour heated Bluetooth batteries. It's in a garage space that's got, not got as much heating. Because it's not got as much heating, it may get slightly cooler in here. And for a garage space like this, I would suggest getting batteries that got heaters in. For those that don't know, lithium batteries, they get below five degrees. They switch off the ability to charge. They do, that, do this to protect themselves. If, so you need to be able to warm these batteries up. There is a heating vent in this garage here. But just in case they get too cold, it's quite annoying at times when you're trying to charge, try, you, want, you want to charge your batteries, but you can't because they're too cold. So these batteries, they don't use their own power. They use the first bit of charge they're getting to, they use that power to warm themselves up and then they switch the ability on, the charging ability back on so that they can charge up safely without damaging your lovely lithium batteries. So two Ecotree 230 amp hour, 460 amp hours in total. Obviously a sea of blue Victron components. We've got the Lynx power in, which we modified to hold fuses. There's four mega fuses in there. We've got the Lynx, sorry, we've got the Smart Shunt battery monitor there. We've got a main isolator kill switch. This is for emergency uses only, or if you want to work on the system, you can stop the power going in or out of these batteries. We've got two DC to DC chargers, two Orions, both fan cooled, actively cooled. We've got fans in the back controlled by the servo, which we'll get to in a mo. You can probably just about see there's, hang on, let me move the light. There's cutouts in the back and a bit and big 120 mil fans in the back of that. And we got the 130 MPPT, which is for the 305 watt solar panel on the roof. The team just standing around doing nothing. They're standing lunch. <laughs> they're, they're admiring their work. They've done a fantastic job. All right, from this side of the van, we have the Victron 2000 2KVA Multi Plus. It's, it's on right now. You can hear it whirring away. That is charging, charging at 80 amps right now. Well, actually, we set it to about 50 or 60. Here we've got the Servo GX, the brains behind everything. This is how you control and monitor the entire system. Uh, via either the internet or by the, by the screen which is inside. I'll show you the screen in a mo. But yeah, that is the whole system. Right, inside the van I'll show you where the screen was fitted. The screen is up here. So we've got what we're on charge right now so you can see the uh, wattage coming in from the grid. If we were using AC power it would be going this direction. You see AC loads but you can see by the direction of those dots moving. It's coming from hookup all the way into our battery. Batteries are on 80%, we're charging at 55 amps there. This is where the solar is, but we're in a barn and it's a cloudy day, so there's not much, no solar at the minute. Uh, another screen here is how you can view it in a different way, and this screen here is how you can turn the inverter on and off by here. You can also adjust the current limit, how much the system pulls from hookups. Some campsites have 16, 32 amp out, some campsites have 32 amp, um, or 10 amp hookup so you can change that down so you don't trip the, keep tripping the campsite uh, system but there we go another lovely system this van over here is having a similar system different inverter charger this is an easy plus 1600 1600 va going in this one it's also got the usual orion dc chargers and solar there's i think we fitted three no two 175 watt panels on here there's also a 100 watt panel on there already that's going to also look red quite a nice system 
So there we go. So if anybody needs electrical work done on their motorhomes, camper vans, give us a call or email contact at bluefix.co.uk. It's what we do, it's what we love to do. All right, thanks for watching.